we are honored and privileged this morning uh, to, to have as one of our guests, ito icon na ito, living legend pagdating po sa stem cell. At malaman po natin mula sa pinaka-basic na kaalaman tungkol sa stem cell therapy hanggang as much as time will allow, eh, magtatanong po tayo ng magtatanong tungkol po sa stem cell. Um, no one can deny that we advance with modernization. Humanity also witnesses the rise of diseases that remain incurable. And as chronic conditions like cancer, heart disease, and other severe disorders continue to increase, we run the risk of facing greater health challenges. Not just for ourselves, but also for our loved ones. Okay, but an even greater question is, how much time do we have left to see healthcare in the Philippines advance and tackle these growing challenges? In fact, the answers might have been available for quite some time. Anti-aging and regenerative medicine experts suggest stem cells and cell therapy could hold the key. Ayan, Ayan. stem cells and cell therapy, therapy. Uh -oh. for longevity, for anti-aging and aesthetics. Aesthetics, uh -oh. Yan ang pag-uusapan natin. To unlock this potential, we are delighted to welcome, nako ito na nga, mm. esteemed chairman, president of the European Wellness Academy and European Wellness Biomedical Group. Apat na bansa ang pinupuntahan niya. Oh. Ba Bawat linggo. Bawat linggo. Jet in a week, center. he goes to four countries. <laughs> this morning, he is in Manila. Uh -huh. So, pakilala po natin. With, uh, we are delighted to have this morning with us, Professor Dato Siri, Dr. Mike Chan. Dr. Ayan. Mike Chan, welcome Professor to our program. Professor Mike Chan. Good morning. Thank you. Thank and you. Thank Good you morning. for coming. Thank you. Welcome to Manila. So many I times. I love it. I love it. Yes. <laughs> okay, so aside from his many titles, Dr. Mike Chan is a scientist and physician specializing in restorative, resto, restorative, sorry, restorative and regenerative medicine for holistic wellness. Exactly what we need to address these pressing challenges. And also joining him this morning is Dr. Dr. Gisela G. Trajano Sarmiento. She's the president and CEO of Skin, Face, and Body Anti-Aging Center. And she's also a derma surgeon and anti-aging expert. Ayan, the things that uh, women normally want need and natin. need. Yeah. <laughs> good morning po, Dr. G. And welcome. Good, good morning po, Ms. Pal and Ms. Ali. And you're quite so lovely as an as an gracefully aging, anti-age individuals. Wow, thank, thank you so much you. for having us. Kung thank you. mas gusto ko yung pro-aging na term yes, yes. sa anti-aging, yes. Dr. We're G. Actually, we're really doing pro-aging, age management, and anti-aging because yeah. we walk the light really well to gracefully age each stage. And I'm so delighted because my mentor, since 2012, I've been doing the cellular repair and longevity science. He's uh -oh. here. He has published more than 40 books. Wow. More than 50. 1, 50. 50 books. <laughs> more more than 1,000 1, studies. And then, of course, more than 100 um, uh, publications. And he has dominated the world globally for about 80 countries. And oh. he's the icon, the wow. the world's greatest for, for advancing longevity and stem cell and I'm, I'm so proud because he's, he'll be here to share us all his insights to educate all our viewers about stem cells and longevity science. Okay, yes. okay. Let's, start. let's start our discussion <laughs> because we, we, with the limited time that we yes. have this morning, we will start from the basic questions if you don't mind, Dr. Sure. Mike. Sure. And um, I'd like you to address um, also the, let's debunk the myth, the myths about uh, stem cell and then let's um, um, address uh, controversies surrounding stem cell therapy. So from the basic question of what, what are stem cells and what are the uh, possibilities and the potential of stem cells? Now, the future to everyone is stem cells and it's part of regenerative medicine. That means you can regenerate the organs. You make out of 78 organs and every organ has cells and stem cells. So what is the difference between cells and stem cells? Cells are just like the bees, but you have some super bees, we call them the queen bees. Mm. These are called stem cells. We all have stem cells in your body. But as you age, the stem cell will diminish at a very fast rate. When you're born, you have one stem cell over 10,000 life cells. By the age of 18, you only have 45% left oh. of the stem cells. By the age of 30, you only have 25%. Mm. And you will die if you don't have any stem cells in, in any parts of your organs. Mm. And by the age of 60, all of us only have 5%. Oh, no! That means mortality <laughs> is coming in at a very early stage, you oh. know? So if someone says, I can live to 120, then they must have stem cells in your body. But there are 400 different types of stem cells in your cellular organs. So mm. every organ, including 
including the brain, have 52 loops and 67 types of stem cells. Wow, very, yes. very, yes. very scientific. Very specific. Yeah. <laughs> very specific, yeah. okay. So that means each oh. organ, yeah. each organ yes. you can get a, a particular stem, stem cell. So the entirety of a, yes. a body has more than 400 stem yes. cells yeah, and peptides. 400 and different types of stem cells. Oh, 400 different types. Yes. 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 Peptide stem, stem cells. Yeah. 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 Okay, so yes. what is the current status of stem cell research and application here, at least in Manila, in the Philippines? Are uh, we advanced? Are we uh, behind? What is it? What is the current status? I think status? Manila, I'm probably the first guy to introduce stem cells to Manila maybe around 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. yes. I'm actually, uh, probably together with my wife of 44 years and in this field for wow, 41 years, you know, <laughs> I've been trained by the Soviets in the 80s, and also we started everything in Switzerland, in Germany. I've been there for 30 years, mm -hmm. and we have our manufacturings all over Europe. We have labs in UK. I work. Um, my latest years was spent in MIT. I work closely at Heidelberg University, oh. and I'm probably probably the guy together with my wife who started stem cells in China, in Perth, in Japan, in Korea, in Hong Kong, all of course in Manila, in ASEAN, yes. and even in the Middle East. Yeah, that mm. was the early days when we are talking about 80s. So when I first came to Manila in the 90s to introduce about cell therapy or organotherapy or stem cell, no one really understand what is it, mm -mm. you know, and, and, and it's gaining a lot of good grounds now. I believe I will be spending more time to educate. We have educated maybe 3,000 uh, Filipino doctors yes. oh. over the past 15 years. And I believe we have done education to 80 countries and 80,000 doctors. Mm. I travel around the world 10 countries a month wow. for 20 over days. You're a and I've been traveling for 41 days. I mean, for 41 years. I never have jet lag in my life. Yes. Oh, I just mm. arrive and, and to do a presentation, and I will be. Off. Leaving tomorrow mm. for Poland. Oh, for, for Poland? Poland. Yes, for oh, 6,500 okay. people to talk, to listen to stem cells. Mm. Then I fly to U.S. to present <laughs> to 2,500 wow. 2, doctors. If you don't doctors. mind, Dr. Mike, yes. how old are you? Okay, I'm Where 63 you get, years you're old. You're 63 and I'm yet 63. you have all this energy. Yes, <laughs> I never have jet lag. My hair is all real. <laughs> I can grow hair, I can grow No, my hair. No, my jet hair. Black hair on, at I never have jet lag all my life. And with a 40-year-old chronological body age. So he has a body age younger than we do. Wow. I'm a biological wow. to 46. Wow. That means I'm 70 wow. years younger. Wow. Now, it's important to understand it's not your chronological age, the age where you're born. Mm. Just like me, I'm 63, mm -hmm. born in 1961. Same age as Ali. I'm 63, okay, the same you, age. You look good too for Thank 63. You. Okay? But we Pro look aging. at the age of all your 78 organs. Your cellular age. Yes, your mm -hmm. cellular, or we call it the biological age. Biological So age. your organs are aging. Mm. And they are aging normally, the biological age is older than your chronological mm. age. Yes. So it's important to understand that. Mm -mm. So when you look at the biological age, it's more important. And one of the way to do it is to take the blood from the proteins of the blood, we call it the glycan test. We can do a test there in UK, a scientific body, and we can check your age. Mm. And most of the time, you must have a younger biological age than your chronological age. Okay. Mm. That, that's what they say, age is just a number. number. So yes. we have to check it. <laughs> Very right. Okay, Very right. Literally let's scientific. talk about stem cells. You said like there are 400 yes. types. different types. Okay, yes. so where do they come from? And this is where okay. I, you know, the, the controversy that surrounded uh, stem yes. cells, where yes. stem cells come yes. from before. Yes. And before he came on, Dr. Mike, we were talking about our friends flying to Germany to a facility uh, for stem cells from sheep. Ito yung parang, ha, huh? cross species? He's not coming from human, itong stem cells. So where do stem cells come from and address, is it safe, you know, if, if, it, okay. if the stem cells come from another species, not hu the human yes. species? Dr. Yes. Mike. I'm actually the owner of Villa Medica. Mm. I'm also in Germany where there are more than 1,600 Oh. VVIP from Filipinos who yeah, have been there. Yeah, I know yes. so many of gone and visited. The president of the Philippines has been there. Yes. Okay, including Imelda Marcos, the first lady. Okay. And former and, Era. And so era many. also. Okay. Era. And a lot of congressmen have been there. They treated a lot Weekly. of celebrities. We have 46 centers and hospitals all over the world, including mm. in Lugano, in, Frank wow. uh, in Frankfurt, uh, of course, even in Santorini, or mm. even in Athens. And of course, we have in Bangkok, we have been all over the world. Yeah. The important thing to understand is, you ask a wonderful question. Mm. Stem cells is found in all living matters. Mm. That includes living plants, mm. that includes animals, that includes humans. Because without stem cells, you will not live. Mm -hmm. So stem cells are the cells which can regenerate. But they can only regenerate those specific organ cells which they are on. Mm. Let's say when you talk about the cells of the liver, it will be the hepatocyte, 
the hepatocyte will regenerate the liver. The yes. hepatocyte will not regenerate the kidney. Mm. Okay, so you have a kidney problem, you need the kidney cells. Yes. So there are 400 yeah. different types of them. Oh. So it's like I'm saying in the brain, you have uh, 60, uh, 52 lobes and 67 different types of stem cells. Mm. So we have to know what type of brain cells you need. Yeah. You know, we have Alzheimer, you know, which is coming to all of us. Yeah. Yeah. So you need the frontal lobe. Yeah. Again, in autism, there's no attention span. You need the frontal lobe. But as you age, you're moving and you're mm. walking, you're wobbling. Mm. Then you need the hippocampus. So oh, a lot of things wow. is coming Specific. in the treatment of diabetes type 2. Yeah. Then you have to give the islet cells of the pancreas. In the pancreas, you have 13 different types of cells. Oh. We have to isolate the <laughs> islet cells. So we go into precision in medicine. Yeah. Now, coming back to your question of animal. We use human stem cells, we use animal, we use plant. Now, why do you need to use animals? Because in the case of human, you know, when we are trained in the old days, in the 80s, they, then, they took it from the human fetuses. Yes. But today, you can't do that anymore. You cannot kill a man for another to man. Transfer. It's impossible. Yeah. So what can you get from human? You can get it from the umbilical cord. Oh. You can get it from your fats. You can get it from the blood or from the bone marrow. Mm. But they only have two types of cells there. Those mm. are the tissue oh. cells. That means the mesenchymal cells, which for stimulation of the cells. Mm. But they will not do the homing into the targeted organs because yeah. these are tissue cells. The other cells will be the homopoietic cells. They will be for blood disorder. So they do not do the regenerations of targeted parenchymal organs. Yeah. So the conception, the misconception must be clear here because everyone yes. is saying, I give you one stem cell, it will turn into all kinds of cells. Yes. That is only in the embryonic stage. Mm. Wow. After that, the embryonic stage, it will come up to... The, uh, the precursor stage, and, and, and you have the multipotent cells, which are the tissue cells. They will turn into cartilage. They may turn into cartilage and bone, but they will not turn into heart, liver, kidney, brain. Yeah, yeah. They okay. don't. So, so that is a wrong organ. perception specific. of yes. many people. Yeah. So what yes. are the specific medical conditions that can be improved with stem cell therapy? You, you mentioned yeah. the, the whole anatomy yeah. already, yes. Yes. but uh, are there uh, specialized uh, yes. conditions? you need specialized cells. Okay. You need precursor cells, I call it precursor or in other words would be progenitor. These are targeted organ specific stem cells or targeted brain specific stem cells to treat neuro disorder like autism or neurodegenerative like Alzheimer and Parkinson because all of us are, reach, are moving to uh, neurodegenerations. So important to understand, it must be targeted okay. with precision. You have to throw 10 darts into the dart box and all must hit blue eye. Even mm. you have to throw 20, it must hit blue eye. Mm. So the problem now is everyone is using just one type of stem cells, including in Philippines, and they say they were turning all kinds of cells. Yes. No, it don't work that way at all. Oh. Okay. For that reasons, it is important to do the education to all the physicians here. Mm. Okay, we do have trained some physicians, but again, they need further training. I came here because of the training, training. with the PAMI, one of the top association here, PAMI. to understand more about stem cells, to yeah. understand more about exosomes. We are the first authors, contributors of stem cells in the world, mm -hmm. medical doctors. Mm -hmm. I've written a number of handbooks, including for longevity and anti-aging medicine, which are guidebook for doctors. Mm -hmm. We also wrote the first book for animals. We treat horses, we treat cats. We treat all kinds oh, of animals. Animals. So oh, it's important. Also? Oh, yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. Yes. So stem cells yes. basically safe. Okay. Yes. We, we, we've expounded on medical conditions. I'm yes. sure a lot of them are um, interested in how stem cells uh, work for aesthetics. Yes. For well, beauty. I can't yes. believe that you have jet black hair up to now. Uh, my black hair is really cell? real. <laughs> I, I really? Just, That's not yeah. dying? No, dying? No, nothing. At 63? No, yes. 63, yes. <laughs> yes. Let's talk about aesthetics and beauty and stem cells. Okay. <laughs> now, I wrote four medical publications in US and UK on stem cell journals on growing the hair, on, on growing the eyebrow of the lady and the mm. eyelash. In mm. fact, you don't need eye tattoo. You know, you don't need eyelash, mascara. <laughs> you can grow them easily without <laughs> pain, cell, without yeah. blood, yes, okay? Yes, yes. By giving some stem cell peptides. You peptides. don't even need the stem cells. You need only the peptides, which could be a fraction of the cost of the stem. It can be yes. even 10 to 15 times cheaper. cheaper. It's affordable, oh. okay? In fact, stem cells peptides are affordable. Something like what we call the mito yes. These are the stem cell peptides. How much is... Or 
what is reasonable and what is affordable. It, it could be around 1,000 to 2,000 US dollars. Oh, US dollar. So, so is you don't say <laughs> yes, yes. But for we'll aesthetics, it. it can yeah, be we'll even be a few it. hundred dollars per session. Yes. Okay. okay. Wow. So there's a lot of things around here, and there's a, a, a lot of a, a vast news about exosomes. We are the first one in the world to introduce exosome to all the doctors in 2011. Mm. And now, after 13 years, you see exosome popping out in Manila. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah, and that is 13 years later. So exosomes are all found, they are the secretion and waste materials of the cells and the stem cells. When you have the cells, they're alive, or the stem cells, they will have, have the exosomes coming in. Wow. Nothing special about that. So for aesthetic, it's Amazing. easy. But it's for easiest. therapeutic, we have to look into the targeted <laughs> organs. Yeah. Yes. Okay? Yeah. You need a regeneration of CKD or kidney patient, you must keep the renal cells. Yes. You need a regeneration of the eye. Then wow. you need the for, retina. Even for yes. chronic for kidney disease? Yes. yes. For yeah. glycoma, uh, retinop retinopathy. Yes. Retinopathy. Yes. Retinopathy. Yes. Huh? yes, yes. Neuropathy. Amazing. Now, in huh? fact, for you can treat a lot of diseases, okay? I always say the untreatable can be treatable, treatable. but you must give the right type of stem cells or but cells. But is early detection Same. also uh, crucial? Like you, you should get your stem cell therapy for your eyes before you really completely get blind. Yes. Is that also crucial? Yes. Yes. Or yes. E even if it's already in the, yes. in the, in the yes. stage four, yes. it's still curable? Now, let me tell you, the general perception of people is I only go to the hospital when I'm very sick, mm. you know? And I will always say preventive medicine is important. Prevention starts when you're 30. Why? Mm. Because your organs, all the cells, eight of them, age very fast. Yeah. Your back starts to age at 11. Your lungs start to age at 20. Oh. 66 of your brain cells age at, uh, age at 20, while the frontal lobe for your intelligence only fully developed by the 24. Your bone and muscle age at 30. Mm. Your fertility for a man and woman start to go down at 35. <laughs> oh, yes. After 40, you lose 10,000 neurons. Oh, wow. After four, that means your memory is going down. <laughs> After 40, your heart is only half the function by the age, uh, it start to age, and by the age of 70, it's only half a function of a 30-year-old. So Amazing. again, your pancreas, your liver, I mean your pancreas, your pancreas, kidney, yes, yeah. you know, they start to age at 50. Yeah. So yeah. how are you going to live to 120 then? <laughs> well, all the organs are going only down you. around 30, 40, 50, you know. So that's the reason why you need a replacement of the right type of stem yes. cells. It cannot be only having one type of stem cells. It could yeah. be a series or it can even so be 15 to 20 different mm, types of wow. stem cells because all I the like organs are going down, even your bone and your muscle, mm. you know. Mm. So do understand after menopause, the women are also <laughs> aging 30% faster. Uh -oh. So, so we have to again, okay. for the men, if they're drinking, after 60, they age 3 their liver 30% faster with the brain. The brain will shrink. Uh, All the shrink. organs will shrink, including shrink. the sex organ. Uh, Correct. So, All will so shrink. So only the brain, yes. only, <laughs> only the heart and large. Yeah. And for the men, extra problem which crop in will be the prostate. Uh, All yes. men after yes. 50 prostate. will have enlarged prostate yeah. moving yeah. in. Yeah. Amazing so, yes. potential. Yes. Uh -oh. Amazing possibilities. I wish we had the yes. entire hour yes. to talk with you, Dr. Mai, we but unfortunately we're out of time. Yes. For those who are interested in stem cells treatment, in the Philippines, where are they available? Mm. So, G, yes, so we have been doing the stem cells, the peptides, the exosomes that Dr. Mike's been doing. So he's my mentor since 2010, been know him since 2010, 2012, so we've been doing that. So we do that in the clinic with the skin, face, and body anti-aging center. And there are also doctors that we've trained already from other clinics as well. So we do all of this static dermatological surgery. Now, if patients would like to have also their stem cells, what we do, we get their blood samples, we have a, we have a question there that we also that we we submit it to the European uh, Wellness uh, Center and then they'll get back to us for the right uh, stem cells and we 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 recognize study further and then we inject it. But then again, what happens is that there's also some patients that we bring to their center. So in the clinic, in skin, face, and body anti-aging center, of course, since the studies are really for 41 years, so we are really we are really on the field that we are on the safety and the precautions mm. that we do no harm to our patients but of course longevity science that's I the know. most important thing oh, we stem learned so cells much are today. very safe stem stem provided cells. you find the right, right providers and manufacturers of course. of course everyone can claim to be an expert in stem cells Correct. but you have to know that they must be recognized worldwide okay. have they contributed to any books or publication accepted internationally mm -hmm. so I've been mm -hmm. traveling around the world yes. I did a lot of work and yeah. I did a lot of books and publication my first love is education to all the physicians. Oh, we have good. trained 80,000 doctors around the world. Mm -hmm. And now the high time to also 
create the awareness and education to all the patients or clients. Mm. Because the best patient, the best doctor for our patient is actually they themselves. Yeah. It's Walking. high time for them to understand what is good for themselves oh. and to do some prevention. Okay. Mm. You know. Okay. Yes. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank Thank so much. What a pleasure, Dr. Thank, Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming this uh, morning. Safe travels to you when you go to Poland tomorrow. Yes. yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes. Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay.